Hey guys, it's Short Devil here, and welcome to my last tutorial. In this video, I will be talking about the mechanics of the weapon, combos, wire bug attacks, switch skills, and armor skills that I would recommend to use along with this weapon. For the beginning of the video, I will be using the base lance, meaning that I won't be touching on any of the switch skills until later on in the video. So, let's begin. Starting off with the mechanics, in my opinion, there isn't much of a mechanic compared to some of the other weapons with gauges to fill. Instead, this weapon mostly focuses on positioning yourself correctly so that you can consistently focus on damaging parts of a monster. Additionally, the lance has the ability to counter monster's attacks in order for you to constantly damage the monster without getting stopped by a monster's attack. Basically, using the lance requires being able to position yourself correctly on top of using a variety of moves to either counter attacks and or perform infinite combos. With that out of the way, let's look at your opening attacks. Moving forward and pressing X performs the mid thrust 1 attack. Nothing really amazing here, it just lets you poke the monster that's directly in front of you. Pressing ZR allows you to instantly guard. When blocking any attacks while guarding, stamina will be drained. If your stamina gets too low, any monster's attack will go past your block and you will get hurt by the attack. Additionally, there are some attacks that cannot be blocked, unless you have a skill that enables you to block those moves. I will obviously talk about that skill later on in the video. Also, if you want, you can press X while guarding to do a quick poke. You can still get hurt if you do this move while the monster is attacking, so be careful with this attack. You can also move around while holding ZR to slowly move while having your guard up. Doing this can also help with regaining any stamina. Jumping off a ledge or your dog and pressing X performs the jumping thrust. Again, nothing really special here, it just lets you start up a combo. However, if you press ZR, you can perform the dash attack. This can also be done by guarding by holding ZR and then pressing X and A. This move uses up stamina and constantly damages the monster as long as you don't run past it. The longer you do this attack, your dash speed will increase. However, while dashing, you cannot make any sharp turns. You can still steer around, but you cannot make extremely sharp turns. There are a lot of moves that you can do whilst dash attacking. One of them is when you tilt the left stick in either left or right directions and press B, you can step to either side, just in case that you need to move a little bit to the side. You can also tilt the left stick forward and press B to do the advance and jump. Pressing X or A after does the jump in thrust. This move does mountain damage, meaning with enough hits, you can wyvern ride on the monster. Tilting the left stick backwards and pressing B will do the dash turn. This simply turns the character backwards in case you go past the monster. Also, this will reset the speed of the dash attack, so if you were speeding up during the dash attack and you dash turn, your speed will reset back to default. However, pressing X instead of B will perform the reverse attack. This wide sweep is good for stopping the dash, damaging the monster, and allowing you to start up your combos. Speaking of stopping the dash attack, you can press B to straight up cancel the move, press ZR to go into a guard, or you can press X or A to perform the finishing thrust. This move changes depending on whether you sped up during the dash attack. If you did speed up during the dash attack, then the finishing twin thrust will be performed instead. Obviously, the finishing twin thrust will do more damage, but it takes time to speed up during the dash attack. Okay, that's pretty much your opening attacks with the majority of it explaining the dash attack. I just thought that if I'm gonna explain the dash attack, I might as well explain the rest of it. Let's move on to the combos. Pressing X three times performs the mid thrust attacks. These series of attacks moves you forward and can hit lower parts of a monster's body. Pressing A three times performs high thrust attacks. These attacks allow you to hit higher parts of a monster's body. Unlike the mid thrusts, these attacks don't move you as much. Knowing the distance between these two attacks is useful for knowing whether the attack can help with moving your character just a bit closer to the monster or not. You're also able to alternate between X and A attacks. You can start with either X attacks and end with an A attack, or vice versa. Pressing X and A performs the wide sweep. This attack can be charged up to obviously increase the damage of the attack. This move can also be done in between your X and A attacks. So you can start 
place in between, or end the X or A combos with the wide sweep. You can infinitely loop with these attacks by adding in an evade. Another way of infinitely looping with your X or A combos is by doing the counter thrust. This is done by holding ZR and pressing A. If you get hit while doing this move, you will instantly poke back at the monster. You can also let go of ZR early to do the Council Thrust, which is great for purposely doing the infinite combo, rather than waiting for the monster to attack your counter. While doing a Counter Thrust, you can press B while still holding ZR to perform the Power Guard. You can also do this move when taking a hit while guarding and pressing B. This move is great for blocking strong attacks, but it does drain a lot of your stamina. Pressing A while doing this move performs a Counter Thrust. Unlike the other counter thrust, you are able to direct this attack using the left stick. This can help with changing the way your character is facing. For example, if the monster somehow runs past your guard, then you can counter thrust in the direction of the monster. Pressing X instead will do the leaping thrust. This hits the monster three times and this move replaces the first mid thrust attack meaning that you can press X or A another two more times before doing an evade or another counter thrust to loop back into your regular combo. There's another move that can be done to perform an infinite combo and that's the guard dash. There's two ways of doing this move. One way is while guarding and moving the stick in any direction, pressing X will do this move. The other way is by doing an attack, tilting the stick in a direction and holding ZR and pressing X. When doing the guard dash this way, you can also move left, right, and backwards. This is dependent on which way your character is facing. So if the character is facing towards the right side of the screen, then I would have to move the stick forward to move the character to its left. Guard dash is really useful for quickly blocking attacks rather than waiting for one of your attacks to end to eventually block an attack. After any guard dash, pressing X will perform the shield attack. This move causes blunt damage meaning that if you were to constantly hit the head of a monster with this attack, you can eventually knock out the monster. However, if you were to press A after the guard dash, the leap and thrust will be performed. This is the same leap and thrust as the one performed after a power guard. A good combo that I tend to do is start with either your X or A attacks, then you guard dash, do a leap and thrust or a shield attack, then you loop back into your X or A attacks. You can even add a counter thrust in between in case you get attacked or if you just want to loop in between your attacks. Just know that you cannot perform a counter thrust after doing a guard dash, leap and thrust or shield attack. Depending on situations, I might just do the X or A attacks and then just end my combo with a guard dash. There's a lot of attacks that can be used to constantly attack the monster. Obviously, you do have to keep in mind what the monster does so that you can keep attacking without stopping. Now, we can talk about the wirebug attacks. Pressing ZLX will perform the twin vine, costing two wirebugs. This move attaches you to the monster, so if you or the monster make some distance between each other, the move will be cancelled. When pressing ZLB while this move is active, this will launch your character towards the monster, blocking any attack until you make contact. Once you make contact with the monster, then you will no longer block attacks. You can also perform the same moves as if you were to jump off a ledge, meaning that you can do the leap and thrust or the dash attack straight after. I'll be honest, I don't really like this move. All this move does is launch you towards the monster, which can be great for closing distances. However, you can just do the dash attack to close distance as well. But if you guys like it, then drop it down in the comments below as to why you like it. Maybe you can change my thoughts on this move. The other wire bug attack is the anchor rage, costing one wire bug. This is done by pressing ZOA. This is basically used to counter attacks. If countered perfectly, your attack will be increased for a small duration. The attack boost is dependent on the power of an attack that you have countered. This attack boost also disappears when you sheath your weapon. This move is alright, I can't really complain much about this move, it just adds on another counter move to your whole moveset. That's all your wire bug attacks. Let's move on to your switch skills. Slot 1 gives you the spiral thrust, costing 1 wire bug. This replaces your anchor rage wire bug attack. 
This moves you in a direction, causing damage with this attack. Add in a direction using the left stick, adds an additional spiral thrust, meaning that you can cover more distance with this attack. Additionally, this move can be used as a counter. Perfectly countering with this attack will boost your damage. I love this move. It's very flashy, but it can be a bit hard to counter with because the timing of this counter is very fast when compared to the other counters. Slot 2 gives you the shield charge. This replaces the dash attack. Unlike the dash attack, there's a limited distance that you can move with this attack. While doing this move, you are able to block attacks. Hitting the monster with this move does blunt damage, meaning you can build up stun damage and eventually knock out the monster. Pressing X while doing the shield charge will do the shield attack, which again does blunt damage. Whereas pressing A will do the leap and thrust. I like the shield charge because not only are you closing your distance, you're also blocking attacks and this move helps with causing stun damage, eventually knocking out the monster. Lastly, the third slot gives you the insta block move. This replaces your block. When you time this block perfectly with a monster's attack, pressing X or A after performs the cross sweep. I am not a huge fan of this move. The animation of this move is quite slow and can slow down your overall gameplay with this weapon. Those are your switch skills. Now, which of these switch skills would I recommend? Again, let me just say that all of these skills can be used. There is no set skill that you should be going for. All of these skills can be used to suit your playstyle. Personally, for the first slot, both skills are viable. The Anchor Rage is very friendly for anyone that is new to the Lance, and it gives you that increase of damage. Whereas the Spiral Thrust is very flashy, and it lets you move around more, but the counter is a bit harder to do because of how quick it is to perform the counter. Slot 1 is really up to you. Slot 2, I prefer the Shield Charge more than the Dash Attack. Now don't get me wrong, the Dash Attack is great for getting close to the monster. However, you just don't get that ability to block attacks on top of closing your distance. Also, I just like knocking out the monster with this attack. Lastly, for slot 3, I would choose the block. As I already said, I don't like the insta block because I feel like it slows down your overall gameplay with the lance. Whereas the block is quick and simple. Finally, we have the skills that I would recommend to use along with this weapon. Again, for those that have not seen my previous tutorial, I will only be looking at skills that affect the weapon, meaning that I won't be mentioning any skills that would increase your attack, like attack boost. For sure, you need to have any guard skills. So guard, offensive guard, and guard up. Mostly guard though. Having guard to the highest level will allow you to block the majority of attacks without getting pushed back too much. The offensive guard skill is pretty much explained, it just increases your attack when you've blocked a monster's attack at the right time. Guard up allows you to block attacks that are normally unblockable. As I mentioned before, this is the skill that you need to have for blocking those unblockable attacks. Stamina Surge is good for quickly getting back stamina. This can be useful for having your guard up and just moving while guarding, allowing your stamina to come back. Marathon Runner can help with your dash attack or shield charge. Not really a huge requirement, only if you intend on using those attacks a lot. Again, it's up to you whether you want to have it or not. That's pretty much it for the lance. You can now poke your way to victory with this weapon. If I missed out on anything, be sure to drop it down in the comments below. I'm sure it would help someone out. If you also found the video useful in some way, give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more Rise content to come. You should also follow me on my Twitch where I play a variety of games there and you can chat to me live. Link is down in the description box below. Finally, be sure to also check me out on Twitter for any other channel updates. Thank you guys for watching and I shall see you guys later. He tried to attack me. Oh no, that's... Stop. Come here. And you, who cares? <laughs> You're part of him. <laughs> He just, did you see that? He just tried to, he just swinging at his leg.